So hello and welcome once again to the Hornby Magazine Workshop. Today you join myself and Mike here on the great central themed layout because we've got something rather special for you. And no, it's not a brand new Dapple Western, unfortunately, but in fact it's what's inside the Western that counts. So Mike, what have we got? So this is a Dapple Western, but like you say, it's not a new one, but it is now fitted with a new PCB and twin atomizers to give it smoke generator effects out of both exhausts of the Western as well. And I think it, well, it's absolutely fantastic. I thought sound, Aftermarket sound was the way to go, but now it's sound and atomizers. So now we've got, yeah, it's got sound, we've got lights, we've got, and the atomizer. I mean, it's like a bit like when we put the smoke generator in the steam locomotives. Just adds that extra level of play value and fun for the model as well. It makes it that much more you know, exciting and visually to watch running around on that as well, doesn't it? And talking about visually, it has proven quite difficult to film because as you can see, our backdrop is the same colour as the vapour that comes out of the thing. So hopefully we've got it on camera, but it's, it's quite impressive. Yeah, we'd like to give you a challenge every now and again. So. <laughs> Keeps it fun. Definitely. So Mike, what is the process of installing this to someone's local at home? Uh, so this is done as a custom installation process by TRS Train. So they take in someone's own model of locomotive, whichever one you want to have it installed into. Uh, and then TRS trains do the work inside the model, they make the openings for the exhaust to come out, they make the openings for the fluid to be put into it as well. Uh, and then that's all has the new PCB put in there. It's all then connected into a Zimo sound decoder in this case for this particular model. I think you can also do it for the SU sound decoders as well. Uh, then it reassembles all that and it's posted back to the customer so they've got their model ready to run. Um, it's not the cheapest of processes. It starts from about £250 per loco for installation costs. Uh, and that does exclude the sound decoder as well, but it does include the atomizers and the PCB to run them as well. So I suppose if you've got that one loco at home that you really just want to refresh it, this is the one. Yes, and actually things like, for example, a Deltic. Deltics were notorious for having plumes of exhaust out of their exhausts when they were powering out of London King's Cross. Class 47s, for example, again, notorious for having big black dirty clouds of exhaust out the top of them. Um, so you'd pick and choose what your most important model was to add this to if you wanted to do it. Um, I think though, actually, for me, it does add something great. You know, it's not a cheap adjustment to your loco, um, but it is done on a one by one basis to suit specific locos. Therefore, actually, there's definitely some value in that as well. And of course, unlike other products on the market, it's not just um, a smoke effect that just fizzles away. It's um, controllable. It is, yes. Yeah, so it's, you've got function controls. I think it's functions four and five actually turn the exhausts on and off, and that's individual exhausts as well, not both the exhausts. So if you wanted to have a loco where one engine's running not quite as well as the other, you can just have the exhaust effect on one exhaust. Um, or you can switch on on both, or you can turn it off completely, or you can just have it on on startup. There's so many options of how you can use this to simulate different things with the loco. And of course, it responds to the throttle as well, which is... Yes. It makes it excellent for play value. Yes, definitely, yeah. So more, more power, more exhaust. Yes. yes. So it's all that kind of it's that play value word again, isn't it? You know, it's adding more and more to the enjoyment of being able to run a model. Um, it's one of those models you could actually quite happily just run that round for hours on its own, can you? And I think, like, like we've said previously, the, uh, the va vapour that comes out of it is cool and smellless, etc. I mean, that's an advantage, but definitely the play value that's... Yeah, definitely. Actually, also the fact that it's it's not got any oil content to it either, so it doesn't make your top of your local all dirty and sticky either, or shiny as it happens with some of the smoke generator oils. Um, but the fact it's not hot as well, it doesn't matter if, if someone waves the hand through the exhaust and nothing's going to happen to the hand or anything like that. Um, it's, it's a really clever piece of kit. In this. And of course, on top of running it on a layout like ours here, a roundy roundy as it were, it also brings to life the depot scene, the siding scenes. You can have now bring that to life with engines, steam engines, diesels, smoking away. Yeah, doing all the things they were doing in the real world. Yeah, and I just think it adds a bit of life to an area of a layout which usually is not alive. Yeah, that's right, yeah. once things are parked, they can look a little bit static, can't yeah. they? So. And of course, as standard, it's been reviewed in full in Hornby Magazine. So Mike, where can people read our full review? So it's available to read in the latest issue of Hornby Magazine. That's issue 183, our September 2022 edition, which is on sale during August. Or alternatively, you can read it online at keymodelworld.com as well. And of course, also on keymodelworld.com, I'll link the article on the steam-fitted coronation that we uh, reviewed as well previously. Yes, of course, actually, we referenced that in the review as well, our original review yeah. of the TRS Trains steam locomotive atomizer installation. Um, so you can read that full review there and see that coronation action as well, which is a great one too. 
So I think that brings us nicely to the end of another video. So I think all that's left for us to do is to refill its tanks and continue having a go. It's my go this time. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. As ever, take care and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Introducing Key Model World, your new online destination for everything railway and scale modelling. Featuring exclusive videos and features, unseen images, step-by-step -step guides, railway history and the latest news. Plus, it's home to our full layout build series. So Mike, we're here again. Another one of your bright ideas. <laughs> yeah, I should stop having these bright ideas, to be honest. Join us for the latest content from Key Publishing's modelling titles, Hornby Magazine and Airfix Model World. Sign up today for as little as £3.75 per month, or if you're a magazine subscriber, bolt Key Model World onto your subscription package now. For more details, visit keymodelworld.com.